Are you ready for this? I hope so. We're going to talk about add to data model. You see that box when we're done in Power Query and we have to load to, and we can load to a table, we can load as a connection only, and there's always that box that says load to data model. We're going to deal with that thing today. Two things. First of all, there are a lot of things to watch out for with data models, and I'm going to point those to you as we go through it. Second, stick around till the end because I got to tell you about this lion yellow box that shows up with data models and creates problems. It sends you off in the wrong direction. I am going to send you into the right direction. We're starting with two data sets. We've got players data that tells us a player's name, the season they're in, and the club. And then the team's data. We see that the mythics are in the city of Greyhurst, they're in the West Division, and Franklin is the coach. And then there is a third data set, the payments. Everybody has to pay $50. We see Abraham paid $50 all at once. Armando has paid $30 total in two $15 payments, and Aurelia has paid her full $50, but in three payments. With these three sets of data, we could look at the fees paid by the city. We could look at the seasons, fees, and divisions. Lots of things we can get if we could bring this together. Data model. When we do a data model, we are going to link data sets. And when we link them, we have to link at least one column that has no duplicates in it. In this case, we're going to look at the team's data and look at that team column. All of those teams are in there one time. And we're going to link that to the club data. The club column does have repeats in it, and that's fine because we're going to link it to a column that has no repeats in it. Let's do it. Let's get this stuff into Power Query. Cursing the data set. Data from table slash range. I'm not going to do anything with this player's data. I'm just going to close, load to. I'm going to let it go to a new worksheet and add it to the data model. Now we need the team's data. Data. All right. In case I want the city data, I want to fill in that column with it highlighted. Right click. Fill down. Close and load to. I'm going to put it in a data model, only create connection. OK. And then the payments. Data from table slash range. Now I want to group so that I have everybody's total. Group by. Player. Do a sum of the payments. Total paid. OK. Close and load to add to the data model and only as a connection. OK, now we've got to connect our data in the data model, manage data model. There's the data, players, teams, payments, all there. Go to the diagram view. I'm going to connect club and team, club, team, just drag them. Power Pivot has figured out the one side and the many side in the team's data in the team column. That's where there are no repeats, but there are repeats in the club side. So that's fine. The one and the asterisk one to many. Good. The next one is a bit tricky because now the players and the athletes columns are the same size. They don't have repeats because I grouped them, but I do want the payment players to be the mini side and my athletes to be the one side. So I'm going to start over here and drag to athlete. The asterisk shows that there's the mini side and the one, the one side. Excellent. It's all connected. Now we can make a pivot table. Here we go. Pivot table. 
new sheet definitely now we see this field list we've got payments players teams let's expand them there are all of the fields I'm gonna drag team down then city and then athlete 132 athletes 18 from Stone Beach we're pulling this data from two different data sets and that is the power of the data model let's look at something else get rid of team bring in division get rid of the athlete bring in the player get rid of city we want season 47 players in the east 13 total first year players data model if you've played with data models you may have seen this yellow box that is very unhelpful it is worse than unhelpful it is a liar here's the data alexi inactive crimson group age range c the manager of the crimson cohort is evie and evie is also the manager of the yellow group or cohort all right and the data is already in the data model let's look at that manage data model there it is the cohort side is the one the group side is the many let's create a pivot table new worksheet okay let's expand now let's grab manager and then age group and then group Nathalie has three people and none of them are in age range B. Now I'm going to switch the group and the manager. There is that lion yellow box. It is suggesting that a relationship might need to be made and is offering to create a relationship for us. But we've got the relationships we need. What we're dealing with is called a backwards one to many relationship look at this the groups that is our one side and the names data is our many side we're trying to go many to one and things just don't work that way look here if i go one to many crimson says okay i've got one two three four crimson's the matchup and then orange one two three oranges so now we've got the four crimson the orange we got seven and then we add yellow and then the purple but if we try to go many to one things get crazy because crimson matches with crimson so we got one crimson matches with crimson two crimson 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 now we got four and then orange orange five orange orange six orange orange seven but we only have four in the data set that's the backward one to many relationship there's your quick introduction to data models it's a lot but it is so powerful three data sets one pivot table lots of views just beware of that lion yellow box